Following breaking news, Houston police are investigating a crash on Hiram Clark Road near Highway 90 in Southwest Houston. There was a fatal motorcycle crash that happened just after 930 this morning. Lanes are closed while police investigate. It's not clear what caused the crash. Now to the Lake Livingston Dam, which remains under a potential failure watch. Crews there have been working around the clock to repair the dam, holding back the state's third largest lake. A Sky 2 drone flew high above the dam to get a better view of what is going on. We saw a lot of construction crews trying to make repairs after near historic rainfall caused erosion to the dam. They hope to have this project done by the end of July. We have a lot more on this story up on our website. Click to Houston.com. Our Gage Golding takes you on a detailed drone tour. Make sure to check it out. Harris County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a July 4th tragedy after a 10 year old was hit and killed while riding their bike. Yeah, it happened just before 11 last night in a neighborhood on Windy Stone Drive off of Greenhouse Road in West Harris County. KPRC2 reporter TJ Parker heard from neighbors who witnessed it and has the latest on the investigation. Well, deputies are doing everything and anything to try to track down this person who they say hit and killed that 10 year old in this intersection behind me here. And we talked to several neighbors who say that 10 year old was just celebrating the 4th of July holiday when this happened. They were all there on the street with the fireworks, you know, just and within that split second, this happened. He's such a sweet little boy, sweet, sweetheart, very well mannered, respectful. So that was just a sad situation. When the Cy Fair Fire Department and Harris County Sheriff's Office came out to the neighborhood, they found the 10 year old in the intersection, but no driver in sight. The child was taken by helicopter to Memorial Herman, where sadly he died. They say the child was going west on Windy Stone Drive when a dark colored SUV going north on Concord Green hit them and the driver dragged the bicycle. Investigators found it a quarter of a mile down the street all the way to Greenhouse. Back in the neighborhood, Malika Roberts lives near where this crash happened. She says this is an absolute tragedy. And my heart goes out to the little boy. He's such a sweetheart. And this is just such a sad situation for Fourth of July because I was out here with my baby watching them and everything just went south from there. I mean, it was just a minute of just seconds. It just went south. So that's sad. Again, deputies say that driver did take off. They are still looking for that driver, so they're asking if you have any video that may have caught this or know anything about this to call the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Reporting in West Harris County, I'm TJ Parker, KPRC 2 News. And deputies have released the mugshots of two men connected to the death of a woman at Lake Conroe. 44 year old Shane Anaboli and 29 year old Kyle McMeekin are charged with boating while intoxicated. They are currently being held without bond at the Montgomery County Jail. Montgomery County deputies say the two boats were operating together when a woman fell into the water. Several people jumped in after her, but they could not find her. Someone called 911 and several hours later, her body was found. Deputies say no one on those boats was wearing a life vest. President Joe Biden reiterating he's not going anywhere. The White House saying the president was seen by his doctor days after the debate due to mounting pressure over his fitness for office. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell reports. Carrying on a summer celebration with his campaign facing crisis, a renewed pledge from President